What's up my Creeper Gang, Creeper here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Wonder Woman 1984. Now, we have, we have the original cast that came back, of course, Gail Gadet reprising her role as Wonder Woman slash Diana Prince, and then Chris Pine coming back as uh, Scott Trevor, and then we have two new cast members joining us. Um, you might have known him from The Mandalorian, from Disney Plus, Pedro Pascal playing uh, Maxwell, playing Maxwell Powers, I think Maxwell Powers, and then Kristen Wiig playing Barbara, aka Cheetah. Now, I'm not going to be giving away any spoilers, um, because I, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to be ruin the movie for you guys, but... I will give you my thoughts and what I like and what I didn't like. First and foremost, what I liked about the film was it tried to do something, you know, different from the first film. I always like how sequels try to like separate themselves from the first film, try to do something different. But they also lacked in part two with the action. And part one has way more better action than it did in part two and of course you always you guys always know this the sequel tends not to do as better than the first one I mean it can the sequels can be better than the first one you just have to go a different route but not too far off and give it as much as it did in the first one so that's what I felt it was lacking Part 2 was lacking a lot of action in this film. It kept true to um, Diana and uh, Scott's relationship. They still had their relationship there, which I liked. They didn't change it. Um, how they brought him back, um, you know, was, I didn't think it was a you know, creative way. I, I, I kind of thought it was a cop-out, in my opinion. You know, they could have thought, you know, they could have became more original with it, how they brought him back, how he came back, you know, so I didn't, I didn't like that part so much, you know, it was kind of a cop out, um, but yes, those are what I, what I did like, those are the, some of the parts I did like, it didn't have enough action in it, you know, how they explained how they brought Scott back, uh, it wasn't really that creative, you know, they could have done better. Um, you don't really, like I said, this goes with the no action part. You don't really get to see Wonder Woman in, like, full effect until you get to see her fighting Barbara uh, slash Sheeta. And then the other main villain, uh, Max, Maxwell Powers. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm saying this, his last name right. If not... Let me know down in the comments, you guys. But um, Maxwell, he's like a, you know, he's like a gold miner, like you know, oil. Like he digs for oil and stuff like that. Um, I thought Pedro Pascal, he played that character very well. I didn't have no complaints with this character, but with Kristen Wiig's character, um, Cheetah, I thought. I've, we all have seen it so many times with these types of characters. She, Kristen Wiig plays like a kind of like nerdy, kind of geeky, funny character who ends up like being a fan of uh, Wonder Woman, but she doesn't get the respect or, or attention of Wonder Woman, so she ends up turning bad. Um, this You've seen this so many times, like with Amazing Spider-Man 2. You've seen um, Electro, who was a big fan of Spider-Man, didn't get the detention or respect he deserved from him, then boom, he turns bad. You know, you always see the geeky, quiet dude or girl turning bad. And it, you tend to see that in a lot of action movies now. It's not creative. That's, that's what I didn't like. I also didn't like how... They didn't make Cheetah, like, it, Cheetah looked like she belonged in the movie uh, Cats. And, you know, I mean, her design wasn't that bad, 
but it could have been a little bit more better in my opinion I, I didn't really it wasn't to me it wasn't comic book accurate to me it didn't look like Cheetah like it didn't make me think when I looked at her design I was like oh yeah that's Cheetah it, they could have done better um, so yeah those are my complaints you guys not enough action um, the way they brought uh, Diana's boyfriend back could have been more creative. Um, other than that, the movie's like two hours long. And, you know, I'm okay with, with you know, I don't mind movies being long. I don't, guys. I don't mind movies being that long. But if you're not going to have any, a, a lot of action sequences to catch my attention, then I'm just going to be bored with the movie. I mean, I'm not, and with the plot as well, you know? If I'm sitting here through a, a two hour long movie, I have to be on the edge of my seat. I have to be like, you know, wondering, oh my God, what's going to happen next? If you're not going to have a lot of action in the movie and you're going to make it two hours, then I'm you, you lost me, okay? Um, but is it a bad Wonder Woman movie? Point blank. It's not the worst movie ever. It's not the worst movie. Is it a bad sequel? In my opinion, yes, it is a bad sequel. There is a lot of stuff that they could have done better for part two. I'm, I am glad that Cheetah uh, had her screen time, her first time being in, in, in like act, live action, you know, appearance. But they could have done better with her character. Um, also, how she transforms into Cheetah again, another cop out. You know, it, it's like you could have done so many other things how she transformed into Kita it, it just wasn't creative yeah it, it wasn't creative enough for me you know it wasn't it wasn't well thought out uh, to me for part two Wonder Woman 1984 is more of a love story than it was in part one so part one you have the action side of Wonder Woman part two you have the 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 loving side of Wonder Woman. So these are two completely different films. Is part two bad? Like I said, no. But being that it's supposed to be Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman Part One, you know, lifted my expectations high, and it did exceedingly, exceedingly well. I was hoping so much more for Part Two, and it and it let me down. Um, the casting wasn't that bad they, you know they it was the casting was okay um, and I also didn't like how they brought Wonder Woman to HBO Max I mean I always love when movies are are like being brought to the theaters. I always love the movie. I always love the theater experience. You know, with my popcorn, my candy. You know, crowd. You know, around me watching it, having different or the same. You know, uh, reactions that I have. But um, yeah, all in all, I'll give this movie like I'll give this movie like a a B minus. And I'm just being nice. I'm being real nice. Um, I, there is one little spoiler that I can give you guys. Just watch until the very end of the end credits. You'll see a, some, a very surprising character in the end credits. That's all I'm going to give. That's all I'm going to say. But they could have waited to put Wonder Woman out in theaters. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they, they did uh, bring Wonder Woman into theaters. But... Bringing it just to HBO Max, and it just, I don't know, it doesn't bring the movie experience for me. But let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of Wonder Woman 1994. Wonder Woman 1984. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. Did you see it? Did you didn't see it? Are you going to see it? What did you want from it? What did you like? What you didn't like? Like share with your friends and if you didn't hit that subscribe button what are you doing go ahead i'll i'll wait
Did you subscribe? You did? Thank you. I love you guys. Have a great day. And a merry late Christmas to you guys. Alright? Bye.